All right, what's up, y'all? Shout out to your boy, y'all. Chosen one. We in the Great Book of Joshua. We on chapter ten. I think this is a really, really cool chapter. Um, we're gonna get right to it. Now it came to pass when Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai, king of Jerusalem. And Adonai Zedek, that's interesting, and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Yahshua Allah, and were among them. And you can also follow this along in Jasher chapter 88, and this will take you also through 89, okay? that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city as one of the royal cities and because it was greater than Ai and all the men thereof were mighty wherefore Adonai Zedek king of Jerusalem sent unto Hoham king of Hebron and unto Piram king of Larab and unto Jephi king of Lachish and unto Debir king of Eglon saying come up unto me and help me that we may smite Gibeon for it hath made peace with Yahshua and with the children of Yahshua Allah therefore the, the five kings of the Amorites the king of Jerusalem the king of Hebron the king of Aramut the king of Lachish the king of Eglon gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua the, to the camp to Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from thy servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. All right, so you got five kings and, and about the war against Gibeon here. Okay, and the men of Gibeon sent, yeah. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And Ayah said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Awesome. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And Ayah discomfited them before Joshua Allah, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that go up to Betharon and smote them to Azekah unto Makeda. And it came to pass as they fled from before Yahshua Allah and were in the going down to Betharon that Ayah cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekai and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Yahshua Allah slew with the sword. So you open up pieces of this firmament and cast down hailstones. Then spake Yahshua to Ayah in the day when Ayah delivered up the Amorites, who may have been like some uh, what we call like giant people, before the children of Yahshua Allah. And he said unto the sight of Yahshua Allah, Son, Stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Aelon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? Book of Jasher. So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down 
about a whole day. Now, what's moving here? The earth or the sun? And the moon. Sun stays still. Moon stays still. If the sun stays still, that moon can't come into it. So he had to make sure during the day that that sun stood still. Okay? Get it? And there was no day like that before it or after it that Ayah hearkened to the voice of a man for Ayah fought for Yahshua Allah. You see how powerful our power is? He'll fight for us, man. And Yahshua returned all Yahshua Allah with him to the camp to Gilgal. But the five kings fled and hid themselves in a cave at Makedah. And they were told Yahshua saying the five kings are found hid in a cave at Makedah. And Yahshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave and set men by it for to keep them. Put, put a stone in front of it. And stay you not, but pursue after your enemies and smite the hymnals of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities. For Ayah, your power, have delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass when Yahshua and the children of Yahshua had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter till they were consumed, that the rest which remain of them entered into fenced cities. And all the people returned to the camp to Yahshua at Makedah in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Yahshua Allah. Then said Yahshua, Open the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Arma, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Yahshua, that Yahshua called for all the men of Yahshua Allah, and said unto the captains of the men of war which went with them, Come near, put your feet upon their upon the necks of these kings. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them. You see, we are mighty men. When the, when you follow the Most High, you are mighty. Okay? You are, you are mighty. And Yahshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage. For thus shall Ayah do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward, Yahshua smote them and slew them and hanged them on five trees. And they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun. See what's moving? The sun is moving that Yahshua commanded and they took them down off the trees and cast them into the cave wherein they had been hid and laid great stones in the cave's mouth which remain until this very day and that day Yahshua took Makedah and smote it with the edge of the sword and the king thereof he utterly destroyed them and all the souls that were therein he, he let none remain and he did to the king of Makedah as he did unto the king of Jericho. Then Yahshua passed from Makedah and all Yahshua Allah with him unto Libna and fought against Libna. And Ayah delivered it also unto the king thereof unto the hand of Yahshua Allah and he smote it with the edge of the sword. And all the souls that were therein he let none remain in it but did unto the king thereof as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Yahshua passed from Libna and all Yahshua Allah with him unto Lachish and encamped against it and fought against it. And Ayah delivered Lachish into the hand of Yahshua Allah which took it on the second day and smote it with the edge of the sword and all the souls that were therein according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, king of Gezar, came up to help Lachish. And Yahshua smote him and his people until he had left him none remaining. And from Lachish, Yahshua passed into Eglon, and all Yahshua all are with him, and they encamped against it and fought against it. And they took it on that day. 
and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. And Yahshua went up from Eglon, and all Yahshua with him unto Ebron, and they fought against it. And they took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and all the souls that, th that were therein, he left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon, but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. And Yahshua returned, and all Yahshua all with him, to Debur, and fought against it. And he took it, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and they smote them with the edge of the sword and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Deber, and to the king thereof, as he had done to Libna, and to her king. So Yahshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, and Ayah, power of Yahshua Allah commanded. And Yahshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Gibeon. And all these kings and their land did Yahshua take at one time. Because Ayah, power of Yahshua Allah, fought for Yahshua Allah. And Yahshua returned, and Yahshua Allah with him into the camp to Gilgal. Whew. Got a lot going on in that chapter, huh, folks? We got the kings won the war against Gibeon, and they um, sought out Joshua to help them. We got the sun and the moon standing still at the word of Joshua. And we see Joshua takes no shorts man when the most high says he's killed something or he delivered into your hands that's it they delivered into your hands and joshua made sure that he took care of them and he took care of business he destroyed every last one of their ass so you know as you know i'm a flat earther man i believe that man and obviously i believe that the sun and the moon is rotating around us i don't think that we're rotating around the sun at all and I think this further helps my case for Flat Earth. Alright, this is your boy, Yash Chosen One. I get you on the second bid. Shalom.